hope you all are looking forward to this most exciting weekend. I hope you all have a very happy and safe weekend. We are going to do a little Ask Trisha where I asked you guys to ask me questions on Twitter and I answer it and that's what I'm doing right here, right now. But before we get into the questions, I just want to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to the sponsor of Ask Trisha and that is Opinion Outpost, my favorite sponsorship ever because so many of you guys have tweeted me saying that you love Opinion Outpost, that you've ordered my book with your Opinion Outpost money, which is super, super awesome. And in case you are new to my channel and don't know what Opinion Outpost is because you could be living under a rock because people love Opinion Outpost, it is a free to join survey site where companies pay you to take these surveys. You can get cash, Amazon gift cards, iTunes gift cards, just the world. You can just fill out surveys after surveys after surveys and every survey you guys fill out you're automatically entered into a $10,000 giveaway every quarter from Opinion Outpost which I think is super super cool and super awesome and it's totally worth signing up. I will put a link below if you guys are interested in it. Like I said completely free you get free money. Like, how awesome is that? Just for giving your opinions on like TV shows and foods and products and all that stuff. And if you guys do use Gmail, a lot of you may not see the emails. Make sure you click the promotions tab to make sure you're seeing emails from Opinion Outpost. And it's just one of my personal favorite sponsors because I know you guys love it. I love it. It is really, really, really amazing. So be sure to check it out. Like I said, I will link everything. Opinion Outpost will be the first link in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get into these questions. Okay, first question comes from Becca Feldman at Becca underscore Feldman. What's your favorite current TV show and why? And I was obsessed with Trophy Wife and it just got canceled. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Trophy Wife was without a doubt my favorite show. Like I'm so mad at ABC for canceling it just because I love me some Bradley Whitford and it got canceled so I'm so sad so one of my new favorite TV shows actually has been watching The West Wing which is like an old show but I have been going through all the seasons because it has Bradley Whitford in it and I need my fix I don't know what it is I'm on this like Brad Bradley Whitford kick again and so I'm all about The West Wing right now and I, he was actually on Law & Order SVU I believe last week and now I'm like obsessed with that show so um yeah I don't know I get like in these weird obsessions where like I find an actor I really like and I have to watch like every single show that they're in um aside from that I'm just really into sitcoms but sitcoms are about to end so um I mean I like the Goldbergs I watch Modern Family I like Drop Dead Diva which is also in the last season I like Dance Moms I I watch a lot of TV so if you guys ever have any recommendations for TV shows let me know because I watch a lot I couldn't really get into like Game of Thrones or just the new black that's like not my my cup of tea. My cup of tea is either like crime shows, like real crime, or like, I know it's so weird, or like sitcom comedy. I don't know. It's like, I'm sure that's like the weirdest thing ever, but um, those are the shows I like. And then of course now summer's coming, so like all TV is going to be awful. Adoret Goldman at Adoret Goldman says, please educate me your opinion on stretch marks. So I don't know if you're asking me for like advice on how to get rid of them or if you really just want my opinion on them. Honestly, my opinion on stretch marks is this. They're completely natural and normal. A lot of women have it. It doesn't really matter your weight. I know a lot of skinny girls who have stretch marks. Stretch marks is just, it's just a normal part of your body. I have stretch marks myself. I don't necessarily, I don't get embarrassed of them actually at all. Like, I don't know. I Like, stuff that just is natural in your body, like cellulite and stretch marks, it's just natural in any woman's body regardless of diet, health, size. It's something you shouldn't be embarrassed about. Like, you know, not that you have to embrace it, but I just don't even think about it. Like, I have scarring on my body from, like, surgery and stuff like that, and I just don't think about it. Even though it's something that's natural, it's like, it's my body, and if it doesn't bother me, it doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, there are creams you can use to get rid of stretch marks. But to be honest, I mean... They're just life. They're just life. Like, nobody is has, like, a perfect body in this world. Like, if someone's going to judge you on your stretch marks, like, please move along, tell them. Okay, I'll try and go through more of these quickly. I asked you guys to hashtag them Ask Trisha so I can find them, so I know a lot of you ask questions without the hashtag, but I literally just typed the hashtag in, so if you didn't use the hashtag, that's why I'm not seeing your questions, but cool guy at edub 2014 when are you going to do live shows again? I don't know because, um, live shows were fun, but I kind of just got burnt out of them because when I do videos, I get excited to do videos. When I sit down and film, I'm like really excited because I have something to say, but I feel like to do like live shows every week, I feel like it's boring for you guys, but if you guys want me to bring back live shows, like I will, maybe like once a month or something, because I like talking to you guys, but I felt like this is not interesting anymore to me or you, you know what I mean? Like people just weren't watching as much, so I kind of just stopped, but if you want me to do them again, maybe like once a month, definitely let me know that. Josie M at Your Menage D, I love the name. <laughs> Favorite summer drink. Love you. Love you too, girl. Um, I am really addicted to lemonade right now. It's so funny. I'm actually going to like tweet. I was just like, I'm a 
really into lemonade, like what kind of things can you mix lemonade with? Not necessarily alcohol, but I just want to like mix it up because I've been obsessed with lemonade. I've been drinking lemonade and iced tea a lot lately. Um, and I just make it fresh and I, I've been loving lemonade. I know that's like kind of cliche, but I never drank lemonade before, so I'm like, who am I at this point? Oh yeah, new one. What kind of book will you write next? Says Ox AF at Anna's. Um, well, as you guys know, I am starting a children's book series, which is actually taking quite some time. You would think writing more of my like teen adult books you think would take longer, but taking writing a children's book is this whole other adventure because you know it's not it's like I have to like think of this world I'm like illustrating the world myself and then I gotta find an illustrator to bring it to life and then I gotta write these adventures I want to have morals to them I want to have stories like life lessons you know like it's just a lot more difficult and a lot more pressure not pressure I'm like excited about it but more pressure I put on myself rather that I'm just like I really want this to make this good for for you know a lot of you guys are adults and having children and it's like I want to make something good for kids, you know, because I talk to teens, but really we need to start teaching good life lessons as kids because the reason so many teens are rotten and they are mean and bullies is because as kids they don't learn valuable lessons. In my opinion, I used to read, um, oh gosh, oh, the uh, Book of Virtues, Children's Book of Virtues, and I just feel like it really shaped me. I know I'm not like the best role model, but like I was always, I'm always, I'm just a very respectful and kind person, I think in general, like not to toot my own horn, but I'm just very like, I don't believe in being mean to people. I just feel like respecting people is like what it should just be what you do. I don't think twice to help anyone out even if I don't get anything in return. I don't know. It's like weird. Meeting people as I get older, stuff that I think would just be something you do just to be nice, people don't do anymore. I don't know. It's like a weird world we live in. So I really, really want to make a book that is going to impact people in a positive way, like young kids, you know? Oh, I just lost my hashtag. Hello. Um, so that was a great question. I love that. Let's go on to the next one. Please follow me, Nash. <laughs> says, do you like living in California? I love living in California, except not right now. Like, I'm literally sweating my face off as I'm, t like, I have the windows open. I had my fan on, but to be honest, I turned my fan off because it's, like, kind of, like, loud. But, like, I'm sweating right now. But I love L.A. Like, when I leave L.A. to go on vacation, like, it makes me sad because... I feel like I'm on permanent vacation. This has always been my dream place to live. It is still my dream place eight years later of living here. I I love it. It just, it takes a while to get used to and really love LA. And not everybody does. Like, I know so many people who like to move away and stuff like that, but I love it. Like, I just, it's, it's just, you know, it's just what I love. It's just the energy, the feeling, the weather, minus these really hot days, but... You only get like two weeks of really hot days here in Southern California, or, or like two weeks of really hot, yeah, hot days. And then like the rest is like beautiful all the time. Kayla Hillebrand at Kayla Hillebrand. Tisha, will you have your books on the Apple iBook store? Um, I don't know. Are they on there? I don't know. I know they're on Kindle. I know all my books are on Kindle right now. I don't know if that translates to Apple iBooks or if I have to do so. I don't know. I, I don't think so. I don't know. I want to. If you know how or if I am on, guys, let me know. <laughs> um, G Christian 2017 Best advice for starting a YouTube account to get views and subscribers. Well, I think... You shouldn't start a YouTube account to get views and subscribers because to be honest, when I started a YouTube account, I didn't even know about subscriptions, subscribers, views. Like I didn't know about any of that stuff, so it was just something I really liked doing. So you should make videos because you want, you have something to say and you're really passionate about it or you want to teach someone something that you're really good at or really passionate about. Like you should do it because you want to and you want to put that out there for anyone like that has like similar likes or interests as you. Because if you're doing it just for subscribers and views, you're going to get disappointed. Because I'll tell you what, even where I'm at now, like, sometimes my views will be really low. And when if I only focused on that, I'd get really disappointed. Because there was a time where I was like, oh, I'm getting really good views. Like, you know, I was, like, really excited about every views I'd get. And they would just get higher and higher for each video I posted. And then when they fall, you get disappointed and you don't you're not excited to make videos anymore and I didn't like that part so now I just focus on I don't even look at views I don't really even look at subscribers until someone tweets me like Trisha you like hit 700,000 I was like oh my god that's amazing but just don't really focus on that they will come you want people who are like-minded and have a similar interest as you and those people are gonna come if you just naturally put out what you like and who you are and not think of camera cut me off how rude anyways put out what you like, be authentic, and then the people you want are going to come. Sorry, guys. My hair is, like, just ugh, not loving this heat. I don't know what is up with it. Um, that's my best advice. Birdie C at Birdie93. Best beauty secret. Ooh! Beauty, beauty, beauty. Uh, lots of water and lots of sleep. <laughs> 
like I know I'm saying lots of sleep but a good seven hours is I think really key I know when I don't get sleep I feel and look haggard and then I've been drinking water so much these past couple of years that I just feel so I don't know I just feel overall I'm, I'm looking I know a lot of people say I look worse as I'm getting older I feel like I'm looking better each year even though I'm like oh my god I'm getting old I feel like I look better so I just do the water and the sleep and try not worry about the small things stress can definitely age you and not make you as beautiful Michaela at Michaela Rosenberg what makes you so confident I'm so jealous well I did a whole video yesterday was it yeah no two days ago sorry on how to love yourself and I wrote a whole book on it it's curvy and loving it's out now but to be honest I just I just look in the mirror and love what I see I feel like I'm a good person I like what I look like I just I'll link below my how to love yourself video because I, I went on like a 20 minute rant of why I'm so wonderful and how I know I'm so awesome but uh, I will link that below but that's a really good question um Gigi at I love you Gigi who is your <laughs> who's your favorite youtuber well Gigi Gorgeous is one of my favorite youtubers Gigi didn't ask that's a different Gigi but I love Gigi Gorgeous obviously Gigi is amazing um I love Shane I mean all my friends I love like Shane and Lisa and Shauna um but like people I don't know that I watch um Oh my goodness, this is so hard. I love Black Box TV. It's like a, like, almost like a horror sketch comedy channel. No, I wouldn't call it comedy. A horror sketch. Like, horror, little horror films. Like, seven minute horror films. I don't know. Like, they do a lot of, like, scary stuff. I like Black Box TV a lot. Um, I watch, who do I watch? I started watching Ricky Dillon the other day because of Shane. Shane showed me, like, his videos. Or, like, maybe Shane did a video or something with him. And he, we were, like, looking him up on my phone. And I'm kind of obsessed with Ricky Dillon now in, like, a weird way. Like, I don't know why, but I, I kind of love him. But I'm trying to think of, like, people I watch. Like, I'm excited to see their videos. Um, I'm, like, totally, totally drawing a blank right now. But I watch a lot of YouTubers and a lot of beauty. Oh, Beauty Crush? Do you guys know her? I, I just started watching her recently. I, I love Beauty Crush. Um, yeah, I don't know. I wish I had more. Remy Ashton, who I mentioned before, I love her. I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I have so many people I love. At Macklemoy says, what's your all-time favorite MAC lipstick? So funny you said that because I put on Myth today and I was like, I love this lipstick. I think MAC Myth might be one of my favorites. That and Viva Glam 2 by Nikki, I love. It's like a purpley that I've been wearing a lot this month and I put like stripped down lip liner. I wear stripped down. I've been wearing stripped down for the past like two months. So anytime you see this, like a lip, it's always like stripped down over like lined out and then I usually this is myth today but I usually put been putting the Nicki Minaj Viva Glam too um and I love it Amber Hoffman Amber Hoffman says why don't you like dogs did something traumatic happen with you and them yes girl yes okay I don't just hate dogs because I'm like a terrible human being I hate dogs because I've been attacked multiple times and like the most severe one was when I was three like two pit bulls like literally like ripped off my face and even though like you wouldn't think I remember that I think like what is that like where you like you remember it but don't like it's like you know, like almost like deja vu. I don't know what it is. There is there it's something, and I'm like totally drawing a blank for it. But it's something where it's like I remember my memory remembers it. And I'm just I'm just scared of dogs. I don't know if I don't like them. I'm just scared of them, and they make me uncomfortable. So that's that. Kayla's Uxzy Casey says, "What's the grossest thing you ever ate?" Salad. <laughs> I hate salad. Um, Emily Casey. No, that's so weird. Uh, Emily XOXO Rosie. If you could direct a movie about your life, who would star as you? Um, it's so hard because everyone I like is older. Like I love Kristen Chenoweth, but clearly I'm not her age. You know what I mean? Like I love Dolly Parton. I don't know. You know who I love? Because it's funny when I was someone's like, you should do Stripper Diaries as like a TV show or movie, and I was thinking like, who would I want to play me on in like as back then and I was like probably like Taylor Momsen I know she's kind of like uh, over it but I don't know I kind of like her and I kind of I don't know she's very skinny and doesn't look like me but and I like Miley Cyrus but I don't know I have no idea I would have to like probably handpick someone like someone like unknown at this point because there's no one right now that I'm like oh they should play me but um can I play myself I don't know. Rochelle at Canis Meloyad. <laughs> pizza or ice cream? Ugh, pizza all the way, girl. All the way. Oof. I'm getting hot, guys. Okay, I'm gonna do one more question and I gotta like blast this fan. JoJo at JJ One Love says, I love my curves now, thanks to you, but what are some little pick me ups you use in case you feel down about your size? And this is a really great question because as 
as a voluptuous girl, I do truly love my body and I love the way I look, but it can be really disheartening at times when you go shopping and there's only a size 10 or it only goes up to a size 12 because let's face it, society right now is telling us that we need to be skinnier. You're always like looking for the next diet, the next fad. We're always being told, even though curvy is beautiful, like Kim Kardashian is like the curvy icon. She's, you know, advertising for quick trim and it just, it can be hard sometimes. I totally get it. A pick-me-up for me is emphasizing something that maybe those girls don't have, maybe the skinnier girls don't have. And I know that sounds weird to like compare yourself to other people. A lot of people say that's like not healthy. But I'll look at someone maybe like Cameron Diaz, who's very gorgeous and very thin or skinny. I know skinny offends people, but she is very thin, a thin girl. She just is. Um, and I will look at her and I will say, okay, Trish, like, <sighs> you don't look like that. But, look, but then I look in the mirror and I say, you know what though, Trish, you got... A great figure. I, I think I have a nice measurements. I, I, I like being soft and I just have to remind myself of why you like being curvy. You said you love your curves now. You have to remind yourself constantly. I think more so than just a person of like an, an average body size or a thin body size. You just have to remember why you love your curves because if you didn't love them you would change them and I, me too. Like if I didn't love my curves there I 100% would be thin right now. You just have to remind yourself why you like it. I like it because my face is fuller. It makes me feel younger. I like my arms being just a little softer. I like the curve that is my body. Something about me as being curvy makes me feel sexier in my skin. That's just me. When I've been thinner, I was very insecure because I didn't feel thin enough. And then I didn't feel like I was very curvy. So just being a little fuller just makes me feel womanly. That's just me personally. And so you got to remind yourself, and this goes for any body type really, but you just have to remind yourself why you love yourself. Because if you didn't, you would change whatever you didn't like about yourself. So my camera keeps cutting me off and saying, wrap it up, Trish, wrap it up. Sorry if this was a very long-winded episode of Ask Trisha. I love answering your guys' questions so, so much. If you want to participate in the next Ask Trisha, just be sure to follow me on Twitter, Ask Trisha Paytas, and I'll ask you guys four questions on when I'm about to film, and it's very exciting. And be sure to check out the sponsor of today's episode, Opinion Outpost. I will link that below where you can get money for free surveys. Just trying to help guys out. And um, that's it. If you guys have any comments or questions left over, make sure you leave them below in the comments and I'll try and read and respond to them as many as I can. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hi to Rick Moranis. Until next time, here are my kisses for my little baby fishies. Bye, guys.